السلام علیکم اور رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی ورچوئل کلاس روم ایم کے اے کلاس روم ناؤ لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو ٹیوٹوریل ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ اسٹاک ویلویشن firstly we will uh, try to discuss preferred stock valuation preferred stock is the most preferred stock pays a fixed dividend at regular intervals so preferred stock a type of stock that promises fixed dividend but at the discretion of the board of directors it has preference over common stock in the payment of dividends and claims on assets so simply we discussed what we mean by preferred stock and the valuation of preferred stock we will use the model v equal to dp divided by kp dp means a dividend for preferred stock kp means a required discount rate for preferred stock uh, this is our valuation model now we will uh, see here as an example how to calculate the preferred stock valuation so here has said if margana chipar corporation had a 9% percent 100 per value preferred stock issue outstanding and your record rate of return is 14% percent on this investment so here is said the bond has a 9 percent coupon rate face value 100 taka and uh, your required return is 14 percent then what would be the value of your preferred stock it is simply 9 percent coupon rate 100 taka per value that means 9 divided by your required rate of return when this investment is 14 percent so that should be our value 64.29 64.29 is the present value of this preferred stock after that we will start common stock valuation common stock or what is common stock securities that represents the ultimate ownership position in a corporations common stock represents the ultimate ownership of a corporation that is the common stock r dividends the foundation when valuing bonds and preferred stock we determined the discounted value of all the cash distributions made by the farm to the investor that means whenever we try to determine the value of bonds and preferred stock 
uh, where we will try to determine the cash distributions made by the investors that uh, discounted value in the similar fashion the value of common stock can be viewed as the discounted value of all expected cash dividends provided by the issuing firm until the end of time so it is clear that the common stock valuation should be determined by the expected cash uh, dividends present value now we will see the formula d1 divided by 1 plus ke that means equity share or common share recorded of return d2 d uh, 3 and it could uh, could be uh, continue and uh, end of the mature or end of the uh, end of the time here uh, dt is the cash dividend at the end of time period t ke investors record rate of return or capital capitalization rate for this equity investment capitalization rate so here as a new word capitalization rate that is investors required a return this seems constant with what we have been doing so far but if we plan to own the stock for only two years then the model should be uh, expected dividend for year one expected dividend for year two and t2 means uh, the selling price of that bond expected sales price of that bond so that is the another uh, model that uh, we are going to use so here is the model where we use only the uh, dividend and continue for the end of the period but whenever the model for two years then we will use uh, this type of model multiple year model where p2 is the expected sales price of our uh, stock at the end of year two this assumes that investors will be willing to buy our uh, stock two years for now in turn these future investors will base their judgment of what the stock is worth of expectations of further dividends and future selling price uh, this selling price also called the terminal value and uh, so the process goes uh, through successive investors so here is uh, the one model and here is also the another uh, another model so here is uh, related to the selling price and dividend uh, one year and dividend two year and here is only the dividend uh, continue for uh, uh, unknown uh, time dividend discount models dividend discount models are designed to compute the interest neg value of a share of common stock under a specific assumptions as to the expected growth pattern of future dividends and appropriate discount rate to employ so this uh, dividend Uh, discount models uh, shows uh, that there are several assumptions uh, that one is uh, expected growth patterns that means uh, it may be constant or it may be variables uh, appropriate discount rate so it based on uh, several assumptions first of all we will uh, see the constant growth model constant growth model that means uh, the dividend will grow at a constant rate 
that is the constant growth model and this growth can be show as a g that means uh, growth rate and expected uh, dividend uh, should be d1 or d0 uh, shows uh, the current dividend or present dividend per share and growth uh, re growth factor should be expressed as 1 plus z power n 1 plus g power n that means uh, in this way that is uh, um, uh, dividend should be grow d naught into 1 plus z power n in this way th that means that uh, d1 uh, should be equal to d naught uh, into 1 plus uh, g power 1 after one year the dividend one should be in this way after uh, two year d2 equal to d naught current year 1 plus uh, g power 2 after second year the dividend should be in this way that means uh, g means constant growth rate and the valuation model should be in this way v equal to expected dividend 1 divided by ke minus g here has a assumptions that required rate of return must be greater than the growth rate and this valuation model is also called gordon's valuation model so here you will see gordon's dividend valuation models provided by myron j gordon so developed it from the pioneering work of by john williams so this uh, this is the gordon's model v equal to d expected dividend 1 divided by ke minus g that is our dividend growth model or constant growth model and here uh, by the uh, by the use of uh, this uh, formula you can uh, determining the investors required return you can be determine the uh, yeah, required rate of return of investors required rate of uh, return ke uh, investors recorded d dividend one divided by uh, value of the share uh, plus uh, g uh, you 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 can use this formula to determine the investors required rate of return so here is an example so that will clear those models to illustrate the use of equation suppose k l k n in corporations dividend per share at t1 is expected to be 4 that is expected a growth uh, of 6% rate forever and the appropriate discount rate is 14% then value of the share of k l k n should be in this way so here we will uh, see growth uh, growth should be uh, forever that means constant growth rate uh, it is it is forever 6% that means z 6% k e expected required rate of return is 14% 14 0.14 minus 0 0.06 and expected dividend expected dividend 4 so that is the 50 taka is the value of this uh, common stock or common shares by the use of gordon's shares valuation model or constant growth model conversion to an earnings multiplier approach that is uh, conversion of. with the constant growth model we can easily convert 
from dividend valuation to valuation based on an earnings multiplier approach in previously we have learned the constant growth model and this growth model can be conversion to earnings multiplier approach or earnings multiplier model the idea is that investors often think in terms of how many dollars they are willing to pay for a dollar of future expected earnings assume that a company retains a constant portion of its earnings each year called it v that means v is for constant portions of retains that means retained earnings portion retain retained earnings from its income the dividend payout ratio dividend payout ratio can be found dividends per share divided by earning per share dividend per share divided by earnings per share that is the formula for dividend payout ratio this is the formula for dividend payout ratio dividend payout ratio so they are for 1 minus retained earnings equal to dividend payout ratio that is the equation that means uh, 1 minus b that means Uh, one minus retained earnings. That means which portion is distributed as dividend? Clear? This portion as the dividend portion, which is uh, provided by the company as dividend, and these are the dividend earnings ratio, dividend payout ratio, or dividend payout ratio, dividend divided by earnings. these portions should be distributed to the stockholders or you can write down that these are the interpolated uh, cross uh, multiple multiply then uh, you can get 1 minus b into expected earnings per share eps earning per share equal to dividend per share where e1 is expected earning per share in paid year 1 or period 1 can be expressed as in this uh, in this way uh, in this in this way v equal to 1 minus b into expected earning per share divided by required rate of return minus g that is the model valuation model where value is uh, now based on the expected earnings in period 1 in our earlier example suppose lkn incorporation has a retained rate of 40% 40% that means a uh, retain rate 40% that means b equal to 40% 40% b equal to 40% earning per share for period 1 are expected to be earning per share that means e1 e1 should be 6.67 and previous value are uh, what are the previous value we will see L 
k n incorporation dividend per share is 4 that means d1 d1 is 4 expected to grow at 6 percent z equal to 6 percent and uh, uh, and uh, appropriate discount rate is appropriate discount rate is 14 percent then our value should be our formula 1 minus v into e1 divided by k e minus g here is k e minus g our appropriate discount rate is 14 percent here is the 14 percent growth rate six percent here is the six percent and here one minus b one minus b b b our b is 40 percent so one minus b equal to 60 percent that means 0 0.60 and e our expected earning per share of pre period one is 6.67 6.67 then our value of this share is point uh, uh, taka 50 not point but taka 50 so that is the value of our share so here we will see earnings multiplier uh, v divided by v divided by expected earning per share uh, equal to uh, 1 minus b divided by ke minus z that is the earnings multiplier that is the earnings ma multiplier 1 minus b that means 1 minus retained earnings rate divided by appropriate discount rate minus growth rate that is our earning multiplier so if we use this uh, uh, this uh, uh, use these examples lk and examples for finding our earnings multiplier uh, should be 1 minus 0 0.40 uh, 1 minus 0 0.40 that is uh, our retain our uh, retains earnings rate 40 percent 1 minus 0 0.40 divided by our appropriate discount rate minus growth rate that means 7.5 times our earnings multiplier is 7.5 times that expected earnings of 6.67 coupled with an earnings multiplier of 7.5 values over common common stock at 50 a share that means 6.67 into point seven seven point five equal to taka 50 but remember the foundation of this alternative approach to common stock valuation was nevertheless our constant growth dividend discount model after that we will see no gore growth where has no growth a special case of constant growth the dividend model calls for an expected dividend growth rate g of zero that means there is no growth rate z equal to zero here the assumption that the dividends will maintain at their current level forever here is the maintain their current level for ever the equation is the valuation model is v equal to expected dividend divided by ke that is our discount rate and expected dividend then growth phases that means uh, growth phase two stages uh, one is a uh, continue for a several period after that that should be continue for ever 
and with a constant growth rate constant growth rate and uh, here uh, you we will see multiple uh, year holding period model these uh, two models I can create uh, the growth phase model so uh, there has an example uh, that will uh, clear to us if dividends per share are expected to grow at a 10 percent compounded rate for five years after that at six percent rate that is continue for ever increasing since six percent so here you will see uh, if a dividend per share can expect it to grow 10 percent compounded rate for five years that means uh, one two three four five uh, years should be increasing 10 percent after that that should be uh, continue for six percent so if the current dividend d naught is two per share the required return is 14 percent uh, what uh, we should solve for v that means value of this share that uh, we will now uh, see so from this model uh, we, we we see that we have a said first five years that is increasing at a constant rate 10 percent a current dividend is two uh, we know that expected dividend d1 equal to d naught into one plus g power one so uh, that means one plus ten percent point one zero power one that is our uh, expected dividend after one year in this way at the end of uh, five year our expected dividend is three point two then our um, model uh, in in previously we, we have seen expected uh, dividend divided by one plus k that means our required rate of return so in this problem our required rate of return is 14 percent that is here is our required rate is 14 percent that means uh, here 2.20 divided by 1 plus k that means 1 plus 1.4 power 1 that means uh, here you will uh, see 2.20 divided by 1 plus 0.14 power 1 then our present value of our dividend is 1.13 so then uh, you can cal calculate in this way so here uh, use the tabular format uh, you can uh, also use uh, this uh, table of format we can you can download uh, this table from our classroom mka classroom so <coughs> present value is 1.13 so in this way uh, five year our value is 1.16 then our uh, our model our model in this uh, way uh, that uh, uh, d1 expected dividend 1 1 plus k power uh, 1 plus uh, expected dividend 2 divided by 1 plus k power 2 and uh, uh, where it is end end in year 5 so in this uh, way uh, if you have the summation or if you, then our value is 8.99 till 5 years value of our dividend that we have learnt in first phases of our calculations now we will see where here here this model model number one we call to uh, d uh, expected dividend 1 divided by 1 plus k power 1 in this way it is uh, it, it will be 
continue and after this second phase we will see what will happen our problem in second phase the second phase said the dividend at the end of year 6 uh, after after 5 years that means uh, it will uh, continue for the 6% rate for uh, next further instructions so you will see at the end of year 5 our dividend was 3.22 3.22 in this way in this stage our expected dividend should be 3.41 uh, that means uh, if we use uh, use this formula that is current dividend here should be 3.22 treated as a current dividend into 1 plus g z is 6% so there should be dividend uh, 3.41 then value of the stock at the end of year 5 should be dividend 6 divided by recorded rate of return minus g so dividend 6 that means expected dividend and at that point 3.41 divided by 0.14 minus 0.06 then our value should be value of the stock should be 46. Forty, sorry, forty-two point six three. So now present value of the forty-two point six three at the end of five year uh, is forty-two point six three into point five one six. That means uh, you can calculate in this way. So here ha- y- y- we write down this model in this way. so uh, here here has the have to find out this present value in this way then uh, here is the model uh, if you put uh, the value in this model then you will get 22.13 tak so d not here as 3.221 plus z 1 plus uh, Z equal to one plus zero uh, six. Uh, here is that uh, that value. Uh, then k k required rate of return fourteen percent zero six, uh, and then the our one plus one uh, four. Uh, that means fourteen uh, percent of required return f power five, because at the end of year five, what will be its value? So there obviously it should be. Uh, to if you put down this value, it should be 2.22. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, do in this same way. Value of the stock at the end of year five, that should be 42.63, and determine this by present value of 42.63 at the end of year five. You you here use the tabular method, or you can uh, use uh, the simple few uh, present value method. Uh, in this way, that is a uh, 42.63 uh, divided by 1.14 power 5. Uh, then you will get 22.23, and present value of the stock is uh, here has the dividends present value 8.99, and here is the stock value 22.13 equal to 31.12. is the present value of this stock this all about today stay home stay safe assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh